Alright, like I said, I'm playing the second half. We're parachuting down um, to the street level. I'm immediately trying to take one flank in a, um, in a, in a map that allows for so many players um, to be using the flanks. I don't know if I'm going to be successful or not. I sure as hell is gonna, I'm going to try. I know that we have some enemies right here. Yeah, this guy was defusing. I don't know if he can... I think this is out of bounds for him, right? Yeah, this was out of bounds for him. Okay, that guy is down. I know they come from this left flank here, but I'm not entirely sure as to where they are exactly. I see one guy right there. Looking at the minimap, zooming in the minimap. Seeing if there's any enemies close to us. There's an MAV straight ahead and a sniper. And I have no idea where the sniper is, to be honest. Oh, there you go. There's a sniper. Sniper down. There are more enemies. I'm just going to make sure that they don't flank us through this specific place here. I'm going to climb over here and have the advantage of having higher visibility. And I'm... Oh, I know that there's someone shooting at me. I just wanted to um, kill that last guy because he was too close to the action. That sniper wasn't really a priority. Um, I just wanted to make sure that they weren't getting any closer to the MCOM. Oh, this is a really bad position. I'm gonna try and throw some C4 to the other side. There you go. I know that there are more enemies here. There's one crossing to the other place. Even though I'm out of bounds, I still managed to kill him. And we still have that sneaky sniper. He's down. And we have the MAV giving us a huge disadvantage. MAV is down and so far so good. Oh, oh, there's someone there in that corner. I'm gonna shoot there because hopefully my teammates will see my bullet tracers and understand that there's an enemy there. There you go. This guy is down. There's one more. He's down as well. No, he's not down. But I got the assist. Oh, there's one there. Trying and go for the head all the time because the less enemies, the, the less teammates. The less teammates they are able to kill, the better. So, going for the heavy is always... Oh, shit! No, that, that was a bad idea. And I was already behind cover when I got killed. The netcode will always interfere in that, in these situations. Like, always. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. It will always, always interfere in these situations. Um, it's frustrating, really, but that's, that's how it is. And... Unfortunately, there's not much we can do. I killed the guy that was disarming the MCOM. And I'm really low on health, so I'm not going to keep uh, myself close to the action. And the MCOM is destroyed. There's one guy there. He's down. Oh, grenade! Don't block me! So, as you as you seen there, I would have probably uh, survived that firefight and killed the other... The, the dude that killed me, but... Like I said, the netcode will always, always... Oh, that's a sniper. Whenever you see the scope glint, you don't stay there trying to kill him. You just run away to the back. There's one guy there. There's another one there. I know him. I, I see him. There's one probably reviving the guy I killed. Okay, just preventing the enemies to do... Oh, there's a sniper. Just gonna move to a different position. I need some ammo. I'm going to replenish the ammo and I'm going to use the left flank here and hopefully surprise the enemy. Hopefully I will get behind their back because they're not really exploring this specific part, are they? So whenever you can, whenever you can exploit lanes that the enemy isn't using, please do so. It's a huge advantage. You're helping yourself a lot by doing so. And I'm going to try... Oh, crap! But I was going to try and position myself in a way that I could see their head and they could barely see mine. So that's why I was climbing on top of these little boxes here. Um, but that was a bad timing. I thought I had killed that guy to be honest, but he was still alive. Now, I'm going to drop some ammo to my teammates and I'm going to go to the same flank because it seemed like a good idea. Then again, uh, I think they're already on top. Yeah, they're on top of the restaurant link suppressive fire if I can get a fix on their location I can I can return fire. Yeah, hopefully he will stay back Okay, that, that was a sniper shot. I need to be careful Now this is stupid of me to be here, but I just want to attract the attention of the enemies um, To my position so that they focus on me and not my teammates. I'm just blindly shooting at 
Doritos that I see across the map and attracting their attention to me. Okay, it's time to move out. I'm gonna look for a flank. Meanwhile, I'm gonna drop some ammo here. I'm gonna open the big map and see how far we can go. So, the out of bounds, it's quite... Wow, it's quite far away. So, I'm definitely gonna go for the flanking. This is probably a bad idea to be flanking right in the open. Snipers are probably already aware of my position. I probably already have a huge Zorito on, on top of my head. Um, but, you know, YOLO! I'm gonna try and use the cover now. Hopefully the... 3D spot will fade away, they won't be able to see me, and I will be able to sneak past enemy lines. Let's see how far I can go without getting spotted. Okay, time to jump down. Um, that, that is not... That was actually an awesome shot. That was actually a really great shot. He's probably writing something in the shot, like, Oh my god! That was incredible, Bruce! Shoot you from the air! <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Now I'm gonna hide the shot because usually it's just a spam. Oh, I spawned in the wrong place. Usually the shot is a spam of offensive comments, so most of the time I just disable the shot box. So I can actually focus on the gameplay and not on the stupid stuff that is going on there. So if you happen to be playing the same server as me and you and you're writing something to me um, and I don't reply, it's not because I'm cocky or arrogant, it's simply because I have it disabled. It's not really intentional. Okay, this is a, the, a situation where I talked about sneaking is really important, so I'm gonna keep switching squads and get uh, teammates to spawn on me. I'm gonna keep switching switching squads, allowing uh, bad teammates to spawn on me. We have 130 tickets, so I'm not really in a hurry. Oh look, I'm dominating with 23 kills. I don't, I really don't pay attention to the kills often, but you know what? Since the enemies are not, oh shit, oh, best timings ever. I could really use a med kit. Awesome. Now checking the minimap, there's some enemies in front of me, but they're probably up top. I don't really know the interior of this map, so I'm gonna try and go as high as possible. I'm gonna go around back. Oh shit! Holy crap! That was really the worst position that I could be. Okay, hopefully I can still spawn on a teammate that's nearby. Yeah, there you go. Spawning on this guy. He needs ammo. Yeah, he needs ammo. Can I can I climb aboard? Okay, there you go. There's some ammo. I'm gonna go under. This is a really bad spot. I'm really exposed here. I'm gonna try and go elsewhere. Seriously. I think it's safer if I go through here, right? Oh, come on, man. This game... Wow. Really? I'm stuck? Okay. Ah, this was a bad idea. Okay, I don't know if I can parachute down if I use the spawn beacon. Because we really need to get up there. And I, don't, I have no idea how. Unless we get up there, this is gonna be really hard for us. Let's see. Let's see. Do I parachute down? No. Okay. Then, how can we get up there? You know, the only thing I can do is to um, not engage any enemies and just try and um, uh, try and go unnoticed and climb up there. Uh, something tells me it's not gonna be easy. I'm gonna try and go through here. See how it goes. Can we climb from this position? Oh, we'd have to go through those stairs. That is really not good. 
There you go, assist counts as a kill. Meanwhile, not really useful to reload. Ah, uh, they see me, yeah. Nah, this is really... There should be a way up for us attackers uh, without actually having to cross 15 different enemies. This is not going to be easy. Let's see if this guy can actually give me a good advantage. Oh, someone's... I see someone in the minimap here. Mm. Yeah, there's just no way I can get up there without being 100% exposed to the enemies. Let's see if I can do... Okay, I managed to go to this position. Oh shit, they are aware of me. I'm fucked. Best position, best, best option is for me to go here. There you go. They can barely see my head. Hopefully some teammates will spawn near me. Or I can sneak some kills in this position. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, that guy didn't die. That's gonna be a huge problem. Okay, this is a teammate. Here's some ammo if you need it. Ah, oh, crap. Worst timing ever. Worst timing ever. This is really, really not fair. I was looking at this position for so long. You know what? I need to change classes. I'm gonna go recon. And instead of the C4, I'm gonna need a spawn beacon. And hopefully... No. I'm gonna switch to a squad that's hopefully already in the ship there you go and I'm gonna oh we're up we're up this is great okay I need to uh, place my spawn beacon in a position where we can actually take advantage of it okay Hold on a sec. Mm. I can't really place it here. That sucks. Oh shit! We already have one spawn beacon from my teammate there, so another one won't really hurt. Okay. Ah, oh, this was a bad idea. I need to get, uh, I need to get them from above. Ah, bad choice. But we armed Alpha, which is good. Hopefully, my tugs will help my teammates to know where they are at least. Uh huh. Still gonna spawn safely in my spawn beacon. And I hear the disarm sounds. Yeah. Shit. Okay. I need to get down there again. Get this guy. Oh, come on! Bullshit, right? Because I had shoot him twice. And he still had time to kill me with the noob tube. This is one of those situations where... Um, noob several noob friendly features were at, were at play here. And gave the enemy the chance to actually kill me. I still hit his head again, but no fucks were given by the game. And we need we really need to get down here. Okay, I need to. Oh shit. They're coming, they're coming. Crap. Hopefully they won't see me here. I'm really focused now, trying not to get killed. Oh shit! Ah, 
I think we got this, bros. Not sure, but I think we got this. Yeah, we got this. Nice. And I killed myself with the grenade at the last minute because my character was stuck. Anyway, these last MCOMs are really, really important for, for us to get a hold of the verticality. Um, turn it to our advantage. It is a huge advantage for the team defending, but if we manage to go up there and have constant spawn locations there, then we turn things around. That's pretty much what happened. I hope you enjoyed this live commentary and I see you in the next episode. Cheers.